Hey guys, good morning. Uh, another video from Rage RC Repair. Um, we got some new products that I just got in. I got the front hub carrier assembly in for the, it's made for the Red Cat Earthquake 80 Nitro, all that stuff, but I have found that they are the same as the Red Cat Shredder. Same dimensions, same size. The only thing it lacks is it doesn't have this piece of plastic here, which is basically not important because of the thickness of the aluminum and the way it's machined. It shouldn't cause any problems there. So, quick rundown on what we're going to be doing here, what upgrades we're going to be doing. We're doing the rear hub carriers we already told you about. We've got the new front hub carriers that just came in yesterday. I'm still waiting for the actual steering knuckle. We have both rear hinge pin brackets and the, what they replace. I set everything out so you could see what they replace. So we're gonna be replacing the front hub carriers, which one is a BS502-019, I believe the other one is a 018, I'm not 100% on that. You'll have to check for sure. But this kit, MPO-02, comes with both sides. The reason why they're not specified on left or right on these is because they have eliminated that piece of plastic. So both can be machined the same, and they both will fit the same. They come with all your hardware, nuts, bolts, pins, and two grub screws that go in the bottom where the pin goes in, and that holds everything in place. The rear hub carriers also come with grub screws. The grub screws are already installed in mine. Um, pins, nuts, and bolts. This part number is an MPO-04. You get both rear carriers. You can find them on Amazon, eBay. Um, I think Monkey Hobby might have them. I'll have to check for sure and let you guys know in the comments. That replaces the BS903-058. And this one's a little bit more tricky. Um, this is the front hinge pin bracket. On the aluminum style, it has the, the pins that align it in the chassis. This hinge pin bracket is narrower than the rear. The rear is a little wider. That gives you your toe in on the back. Um, since the control arms don't have any adjustment for toe, what they do is they make the hinge pin bracket a little bit wider in the back of the car, and that cocks both of the control arms forward some, which gives you a, a small amount of toe in. That just helps with control and drivability. Anyways, the, the front is a MPO-06. The rear is an MPO-07, and it replaces the set, which comes together, part number BS903-028. Um, if you do buy these, I recommend ordering the set of bushings that would come with this. I do have a set of those. They're in this container over here. Josh, you want to grab a set of those bushings out for me? The small set of bushings and bolts. Um, while he's grabbing those parts out, we now have some pretty cool information. We've got a gentleman that's going to be looking at control arms for us. And if all goes well, you can go ahead and set those on there, Josh. If all goes well, they will be made out of either carbon fiber or aluminum, and they'll be replacing this part here. I'm going to see if he can manufacture the end as well in either aluminum or carbon fiber to take care of that problem. So that that is not being broken anymore. He's also one of the gentlemen that's going to be looking into building a rear differential case, um, in front differential case. The last guy, he, it all fell through. He decided that it was too much for him to, to do. So we're going to pass that up. And when we get some parts and some prototypes, we'll be passing those along. Hopefully we'll be getting shock towers made. And then also I'm wanting to get the center support made out of aluminum or carbon fiber. I'm not sure which. So if you guys want custom stickers, my sister does printing of stickers. These are just some samples that she made, some Rage RC Repair stickers. If you'd like some Rage RC Repair stickers, let me know in the comments. Um, you guys cover the shipping and I'll send them to you. However many you want. I can get different colors. I can get different sizes and different fonts. Let me know what you want. Um, I'm also going to be leaving her information in the comments as well so you guys can look her up on Facebook. She has a group on there where all of her... Um, her stuff is posted. She does t-shirts, hoodies, hats, keychains, all sorts of stuff. Obviously stickers and whatnot. Okay, when you replace the front C-hubs, 
there's something you're going to want to make sure you do. I would recommend not reusing the old aluminum bushings that are inside of your originals because they're probably going to be worn out. I recommend ordering a new set of bushings and, and the bolts, the little screws that come with them. Um, take note, when I take this apart, I will explain the differences and why there's one longer screw and why there's one shorter screw. It does make a difference where you put this. If you put the screw on the wrong side, the top or the bottom, you can potentially crack the outer race of the bearing which causes the inner wheel bearing that sits inside of the hub. I'll use this as an example on the front hub. It, it causes this bearing right here because on the front hub it actually, the bolts go here and it will crack that. Your bearing will burn up and you'll be toast. This is just an example. That's the rear. Where it comes in is where the steering knuckle is, which I don't have a spare here. Anyways, you're going to want to replace your bushings and bolts. Part number for those is BS903-017. If you guys have any questions, don't forget to comment on anything. If there's a part number that you missed um, or something that wasn't legible or audible, let me know and I will write them down in the comments for you. If you guys have any questions on any of the information I've given you today, let me know. Um, I will keep everyone updated and informed on what we've got going on with the aluminum upgraded parts. There is one other part that I wanted to add to the list. I've had a few requests for this part, especially people asking me, where'd you get the hub extensions for the shredder? They sell them. Red Cat makes them, I believe they're the conversion kit is what they call this. Yes, 17 millimeter conversion kit. But all this fits the shredder, every part of it. Lug nuts, pins, everything is exactly the same as the shredder as it is on the Earthquake. Um, backdraft, aftershock, I believe the Caldera, this will work as well. I'm not 100% on the axle shafts, so I'll have to check into that, let you guys know. But the part number for those hub extensions are RCR-1005. These are a must have for the shredder. Widening out that stance makes the control a whole lot better. Um, anyways, don't forget to subscribe, smash the bell, and we'll be uh, back with, very soon with the repair videos. I would like you guys to leave it in the comments too as well if you could please. Do you want me to separate this up and do hinge pins, hub carriers separately all in sessions or do you want a whole video of all the repairs all at once? Don't forget to subscribe, smash the bell, have a good morning.